There's a new option for parents who have decided their children are ready to explore YouTube in a safe and independent way. It's catered toward teens and tweens who can access YouTube through a supervised Google account. The experience will come with content settings and limited features, and parents will be able to provide feedback. Joining us now is Kelly Brunton from the Ambler Counseling Center. Kelly, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. YouTube Kids has long been a safer destination for children to explore age-appropriate content. Now families have the option of letting their older children have supervised accounts. How important is it for parents to monitor their kids' online activity? This is so important right now. Teaching your children and your teenagers to use technology in a healthy way will set them up to be successful digital citizens for the rest of their lives. It's about finding that balance between offering guidance, offering boundaries, but at the same time, encouraging independence. And speaking of that, it is a balancing act between monitoring your child's activities and letting them have a sense of independence. Does online parental supervision create a sense of mistrust at all between parent and child? I think it's about how parents approach it. It's always about having that open dialogue, creating a conversation around, listen, we want to keep you safe, but we also want to create an environment where you can explore and learn things. At the end of the day, no one cares more about your child than you do as the parent, the caregiver, the grandparent. In today's digitally fueled times, you know, it isn't just about guiding them to be strong, independent adults in the real world. It's also about guiding them in the virtual world as well. While this option from YouTube may be safer for families, there's still that overall concern about kids becoming disengaged with reality as they spend more time online. What are your thoughts on that? I just saw an article recently actually published from Harvard that said that most teens are online an average of 9 to 12 hours a day during this pandemic. So it's really important right now with online school, online learning to really, you know, create an environment where they can start to develop these healthy habits. And what's cool about this is, you know, YouTube isn't a one size fits all situation here. So from 5-year-olds to 15-year-olds YouTube will walk families through how to make technology work for every developmental stage. Tweens and teens reach developmental milestones at different times. So it's a great thing that YouTube is recognizing that, but it's also important to remember that this is still new and this isn't foolproof. In this age that we're in, so important to have the best information for our children. Kelly Brunton, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.